सफर है कुछ होने में और बहुत कुछ होने में इतना सा फर्क है एक बार सोच के छोड़ देने में और लग के कर दिखाने में मान लेने में कि जिंदगी ऐसे ही कटेगी और सुबह चार बजे उठ के सोचने में ये अभी तो बस शुरुआत है किसी मैगजीन को हाथ में लेने में और उसी मैगजीन के कवर पेज पे होने में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वीआईपी सीट में और उसकी पिछली सीट में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वो जिसका मैदान ही खुला आसमान है वही कल जमीन पर तो था पूछोगे तो बताएगा वो पंछी एक दायरे में सिमटने में और पूरी दुनिया को दायरा बनाने में बस इतना सा फर्क है इतना कितना है इतना है या इतना है जो नापेगा वो जाने कि जहां धरती और आसमान मिलते हैं नानकुर से दूर अगर मगर शायद से दूर वहां भी दोनों में फर्क बस इतना सा है धरती और सातवें आसमान में फर्क बस इतना सा है ये एक अंतर प्रेरणा है ये हमारी आपकी हम सब की अंतर प्रेरणा है एक कदम एक छलांग एक बाजी एक गहरी सांस और एक ललकार खुली हवाओं में कि हां मैं बना हूं उन फिजाओं के लिए कि हां मैं बना हूं उन ऊंचाइयों के लिए जो ऊंची तो बहुत है पर नामुमकिन भी नहीं क्योंकि मुमकिन और नामुमकिन में बस इतना सा धूप छाओ में फर्क बस इतना सा तो बस चलिए फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया के साथ ये फर्क मिटा देते हैं फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया Twenty years of ideas. Very good afternoon to all the dear friends. It is our privilege to welcome all of you to our business opportunity over chai webinar series. This is a digital representation of the business opportunity which we have got for all of you today. We are providing information about an international business opportunity which uh, which my colleague Venus will talk about in a later part. in this webinar but franchise india is helping day in day out all the investors in getting the maximum business solutions and franchise suggestions through our digital and physical events we are known to be as the top 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 10 management companies in india it is because of the work we have worked towards our investors as well as brand we invite and welcome management team of franchise india gorav sir sonia mam and venus venus is taking care of our fran global part she is a chief executive officer at frank global so venus thank you so much for joining in today and today the brand which we are talking about is duck and dry it's an international business opportunity for all the investors we have invited our international guest to take us through the entire presentation but, but before i formally invite our guest of honor i would like to invite venus to formally start this session over to you venus uh thank you so much uh, archana and uh, good afternoon uh, and welcome to everyone uh, who has joined in and a very uh, a big good morning to uh, yulia who has joined us from london uh, she's just starting uh, her day and uh, uh, you know as archana mentioned i'm venus and uh, i had the international business and uh, we are privileged to be part of this platform which now is uh, india's uh, most popular and largest platform uh, for providing a fresh opportunity every day great work of course by the whole team uh, uh, so uh, thank you so much now uh, fran global uh, as a lot of you would already know is the international arm of franchise india and it is our work to uh, to bring international concepts from all across the world to uh, our indian uh, 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 audience and partners who are looking to uh, uh, for exciting concepts and today's uh, brand is one of those duck and dry from london uh, and uh, we we have the founder of the brand yulia and i think what yulia has done uh, which which is very hard especially in a market like the uk which is such a competitive and a mature market to create uh, a beauty and a lifestyle brand 
uh, into uh, a, a simple service like uh, doing your hair, uh, doing your nails, and kind of really bringing in uh, the the convenience, comfort, experience, and the glamour part, where uh, the, the 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 customer is uh, an urban, confident. Uh, a uh, woman who uh, sort of really wants to, uh, who really enjoys and appreciates the experience she is getting while she's getting her hair done, whether alone, with, with her friends, with her colleagues. So, uh, so I think Julia has done uh, uh, what, which is really hard, is to really bring a lifestyle uh, component into uh, the business of salon. And now, Duck and Dry uh, is uh, uh, is, on, is is the top brand in the UK which is known for uh, uh, sort of really sort of pro, uh, known for uh, having a great experience uh, and having fun uh, uh, while you're getting your uh, hair done. So it's all about fun, beauty, and uh, really sort of uh, 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 is, is very near to uh, what a woman would sort of really want and uh, enjoy and is looking for. So. Uh, congratulations, Julia, for uh, you know founding this brand. I think you really kind of found the that uh, niche space, which you found the gap and you kind of filled it. And uh, uh, for India also, I think uh, salon is uh, salon category is very popular when it comes to franchising. Uh, we have uh, multiple international and uh, national uh, salon brands who are franchising, so it's a very franchisable space. And with Duck and Dry, with its niche uh, positioning, offering, uh, we feel, I mean, we did our research and uh, could not really find something what you are doing. So I think uh, we feel that we should be able to attract uh, 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 partners who would find uh, Duck and Dry to be right uh, uh, brand for their particular uh, territories. So excited to launch it today. And uh, thank you for uh, joining us, Julia. I think this is 6.30 in the morning for you. Yes. And uh, we really are very excited to have you today, Yulia. Thank you very much for having me. And I think another thing is that today it's a women's business. And I think I, what I see is all of us are women. So I think we <laughs> would, uh, uh, I think that's, that's, that's very good. Uh, good to have you, Sonia. And uh, hope you will enjoy the, uh, I'm sure you will enjoy the, the, the presentation. And uh, I think we all would love to have a duck and dry in our neighborhood. Absolutely, for experiencing all the services. Welcome, Captain Julia. Yeah. Sure. So I think what we, uh, Julia, will bring you in, and I think, uh, uh, but before uh, that, we have a, a short video of the of the brand, which we'll kind of uh, get started with, which my colleague Divya will share. Sure. Divya, uh, we have stopped the video. Yes, Venus. Okay, you could have played it. Shall I share it? Sure. Yeah, okay. My name is Yulia Borstrom, and I am the CEO and founder of Duck and Dry. Where does the name Duck and Dry come from? It's a play on words. It's ducking in and drying out. We wanted it to be distinctive and with a sense of fun. When was the Can Dry launched and where? In 2014 was the opening of our first location in Chelsea on Kings Road. I was a resident of the area at the time and felt that it really lacked a kind of modern, contemporary styling destination that was unlike a traditional hair salon. What did you do before setting the Can Dry? 
I was a management consultant for financial services, um, so nothing to do with beauty or hair. Um, I was always quite academic and I never considered myself particularly creative, so going into the beauty industry was a huge leap for me. What motivated you to set up your own business? I come from a very entrepreneurial um, family. Uh, business talk was always around the dinner table. So at the back of my mind, I always knew I wanted to set up my own business. And I was really excited about creating something of my own, and creating a real brand and an experience. And why beauty industry? I really believe in the transformation that the beauty industry can offer. We love making our clients feel and look great. And that extra balance that you get in your step after a beautiful blow dry. You create. Thank you, thank you, Divya. Uh, uh, Yulia, that was a great introduction uh, of the brand. I think it really sort of uh, uh, gives in that short time uh, your background. Uh, yeah. that you actually came from finance and uh, now uh, sort of transitioned into a completely different business. Uh, and of course, so what the brand is about, uh, you know, I think as soon as you look at the store, you know that it's not just uh, sort of uh, you're doing your hair, it's where you can feel, you can, you, you can feel it's okay to spend, let's say 40 minutes, 50 minutes doing my hair and I can have a drink as well. Uh, so okay. Yulia, I think we'd love to now uh, kind of hear from you uh, uh, what the brand is about, what the business is about, ups and downs, I'm sure as an entrepreneur, you would have seen that and what really works and, uh, uh, and, and what are you looking for? Sure. Um, hi, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for, for joining. Um, so shall I go through the presentation or do yes, you Yes, want... you can. I think if you just uh, uh, click on share screen uh, and just click on the presentation, which should be open, you should be able to share your screen. Lovely. Okay. So I will just. Move. You need to uh, click on a uh, full screen. Uh, I think this you, should, you should find that on the view under the view tab. Is that. Uh, uh, there is one symbol on below uh, you can click uh, just below the presentation on there are i icons. think slide for so this is ppt uh, so yes you uh, you can also click on slideshow or uh, uh, at the bottom you should find a uh, yes yes just yes this one, next yes, to this yes. next to this here you go is this better yeah okay so i'll just uh, quickly walk everybody through the the concept if you're not familiar with the blow dry bar. So Duck and Dry is um, London's biggest blow dry bar. Um, we established in 2014 and it was an idea of introducing the accessible um, quality but uh, quick experience of creating blow dries. So we don't do color. Um, we are open seven days a week with long opening hours, people going, you know, to work or to parties, weekends, friends. Um, so it's a real experience. Uh, the spaces are very sort of vibrant and they don't look like your typical hair salon. Um, the brand is at the heart of everything that we do. Uh, Duck and Dry has really established itself as a you know, very distinctive, recognizable brand in the UK. Um, and we are seen as a real destination, uh, somewhere that uh, women go to to spend time, hang out with friends, um, as well as, of course, um, getting quality on trend hairstyling. Um, we are in um, iconic uh, locations in London. We're in Chelsea, we're in Soho, Mayfair, Oxford Circus. Um, so for us, the positioning is very important. Uh, it's visible, it's um, distinctive, uh, they're large, spaces that are very memorable for the end consumer. Um, uh, we've got obviously a huge client following and uh, we service over 500 people 
a week per location. Um, we have um, a huge following in terms of um, celebrities and uh, press. So the brand is uh, very much established in the UK and uh, me as a, as a founder is very, very excited to um, take it international and to kind of share our know-how and our brand uh, with audiences outside of the UK. Um, so the, briefly about our consumer, um, it, it's a very wide range of women, uh, you know, anything between 16 to 60 years old. Um, target audience is probably sort of 20, 25 to, to 45. Um, they have disposable income. They're cosmopolitan and well-traveled. Uh, they've got a keen interest in uh, beauty, fashion, trends. Um, a lot of our, sort of almost 50% of our clients are repeat clients, the ones that come on a weekly basis. There are, of course, those that um, come for special occasions and weddings and events. Um, we've worked, uh, you know, we've done hundreds of uh, thousands of blow dries uh, by now and worked with some really big names uh, to bring blow dries as um, sort of regular consumer experience. Um, but that is the type of profile of a woman that we're looking for as a client. Um, of course, just to show off a little bit, but um, we have been written by everybody from Vogue to Glamour, very much as um, London's top uh, blow dry bar destination. Um, we are very much seen as somewhere where you can come for, as Venus mentioned, for a quick but quality experience, um, where you can also have a glass of Prosecco if it's an evening, or get together with friends and celebrate somebody's birthday, or just getting ready uh, before uh, going out. Um, why franchise? Um, uh, I guess uh, many of you who joined the call are perhaps already considering it as a business. Um, for, for us, the background of a franchisee, it does not have to be somebody who has an experience in beauty already. As I mentioned, I come from finance. I think what we're looking for is for somebody who is passionate about business, passionate about people because it's, it is a lot of people management and customer management, but also who sees beauty as an exciting opportunity and as an exciting business sector. Um, over the last uh, five, seven years, uh, we've developed the formula that I believe works. Um, and we would be providing all the tools and guidance as to how to set up and run um, a hair salon and uh, how to market it, how to recruit and train. Um, we provide various management uh, advice as to how to manage it in the best possible way, um, keeping it profitable while providing the experience to, to the customer. And we, we very much feel that um, we have built those essential building blocks that are required to launch a successful business. And it's a sort of business in the box now that can be a very much a plug and play solution. Um, so what are our six pillars that I would like to sort of walk you through for you to understand that if you were to invest in the Duck and Riser franchise, what is it that we offer and um, how are those six business pillars would help you uh, to, to run a successful business. So, um, well, we have spoken about myself at quite a length, but I am very much there to, to support our franchise partners. It's, it's a very personal relationship that I hold with our franchisees um, and genuinely sort of valuable for, for that advice and support uh, throughout that journey. Um, as I understand all the ups and downs that comes down with it. We do have a big team dealing with our franchise partners, but I guess I want to reiterate that um, it's a real passion of mine and taking it internationally, especially. So, um, you know, I would I would like to be there along the way with, with support and advice. Um, what are the 
pillars. So the distinctive brand, ultimately uh, what you would be investing in is, is the brand name and all the elements that come with it. Um, there is a huge amount of work that has been do done throughout um, the marketing elements, the branding elements, and all the details that you can think of from business cards to, to towels, to entrance mats, to products and menus, um, the website, the social media, uh, a huge amount of work has been done to, to create this brand vision. And ultimately, Duck and Dry is very much a London brand. It's, it's cool, it's fresh, um, it's playful, but with a sense of style and quality experience. Um, as I mentioned, huge amount of branding elements. That is something that would be uh, brought to the franchise partner from our menus and price list to staff uniforms, gift cards, retail bags, ribbons, uh, Prosecco coasters. I mean, it's, it's really a wholesome uh, set of beautiful, well-branded, well-thought-out elements that would make dark and dry, very different from any regular hair salon that you might find. Um, of course, interior design is a big part of um, what we do. Um, our locations are very distinctive. They're meant to be something that a customer would uh, recognize instantly, be attracted to, and something that perhaps doesn't look like your typical hair salon. So as part of a franchise, we would be offering advice on uh, the location, the, the spot itself, um, what client mix, what kind of size, space configuration, uh, footfall. Um, so these are the things that we would be putting together from our experience of advice, what we think the, the location and its elements uh, would kind of really uh, guarantee the, the success. Um, the layout design, uh, the interior specifications, lighting, sound, those are all the elements that would make it not just your typical hair salon. Um, our interiors are very unique. Uh, we've got our the famous um, egg pods that are very distinctive. Um, we use a lot of natural materials, uh, wood and marble and greenery. Um, we are using a lot of our uh, pastel colors, um, pops of color. Um, but of course, we also um, kind of take into account the local area and every single duck and dry is slightly different and we love bringing um, the local kind of feel of the area of the building into play. Um, we put a lot of emphasis on sort of, uh, photo opportunities, Instagram corners, um, we've got uh, group tables and areas where people can get together um, as groups um, so you can see uh, some of the group areas uh, together so that the girls can come and spend time together. There is a bar area which can serve from a lovely teas to, to alcohol. We've got various Instagram corners and fun slogans where people can take photos and hopefully spread the word on, on social media. So it, it is a very specific look and you know it, it's for somebody who gets excited about design. Um, design can be flexible, and these are some of the other examples and models that we have done, just to show that it is a very versatile brand and a versatile design that can be done from smaller spaces to, to large flagship stores. Um, of course, services and training. That is part, a big part of what uh, franchise offers. Um, we have our menu of uh, blow dries and updos that can absolutely be also adapted to the local market. Um, it is we have a great in-house top stylists that can create looks that are on trend, uh, but also looks that are in demand for the local market. So I think that level of kind of flexibility um, is something that we would really like to bring forward. Um, we've got a training program that um, can uh, be done, of course, in person, but also digitally um, to really show the know-how 
of what makes a great blow dry great. Um, and that is very much part of the offering. Um, there is a skill to it. Uh, the good news is that it is still a fairly simple service that can be taught if you know what you're doing. Uh, but at the same time, um, there is a skill to it and we all have had a bad blow dry. So that is what we offer. Um, as I mentioned, we offer business and management advice as well. We are there to, to support you throughout um, quality control, customer service, day-to-day um, -day salon operations, recruitment, um, retention, training. That's uh, part of the package. Um, as part of HAIR, we also offer complementing services such as a nail bar or a brow bar. Our sister brands, Duck and Pile and Duck and Pluck, which are also part of the franchise. Um, we have been developing our nails uh, quite heavily in the UK. And we find that um, a nail bar is very, very complimenting to hair. It's, you know, you come for your blow dry, you get a quick manicure. They're great complimenting services. And of course, um, it's, it's a great additional income once you're already spending um, money on rent and location. So I would definitely look at duck and dry, not just as hair, but there are other complementing services and income streams that uh, make it an attractive proposition. Uh, we also have our own product range. This is now being slightly redesigned. Um, we've got really exciting products. Um, so you will be working not with your just standard hair products, but they are branded, they are um, unique. Nobody else would be able to, to have them on the market. Um, and it's a great product range that we know that it works. We, we are producing tens of thousands of blow dries um, and we can stand by it and say that these products work. Um, they are great styling solutions and they are unique to us. Um, the other point with the products is that um, you know there is other opportunities in terms of product line uh, being um, sort of sold and distributed uh, in an international market, and that's just something that uh, to to consider and keep in mind. And the background to products is they have very much been developed and born out of our stylist needs. We we test them in house. We get real-time feedback from our clients. It, it's an amazing platform for innovative um, hair solutions. Um, they're all produced in uh, Somerset in this beautiful little village in the countryside in the UK. Um, and there is a great emphasis on um, natural ingredients, things, uh, products that are good for your hair um, and promoting sort of hair health. Uh, they, they don't contain parabens and silicones. So we are very much um, uh, natural ingredients and sustainability. Um, as I mentioned, it's a great additional revenue source. Uh, these products can of course be sold to the clients um, after their appointments, but also there may be an opportunity um, to, to distribute and sell the product line on a wider spectrum. Um, another very important aspect, we've got um, Duck and Dry has its own in-house salon software. It's uh, the beating heart of every single salon, um, the, the schedules, the bookings, uh, staffing, um, online bookings, reporting, um, control of your stock, uh, booking schedule, staff schedule, um, stylist statistics, sales statistics. Um, it is our own proprietary in-house software system that um, gives you an opportunity to manage all of your back office operations. It is, um, you know, it, it's something that uh, we're very proud to, to have built and it's maintained and uh, worked on by our in-house IT team who are, will be there um, supporting uh, the team throughout. And lastly, marketing and PR. Um, of course, we expect um, local marketing to be done, and we 
can provide a huge amount of advice as to what we see uh, the right marketing channel, but also we would be supporting uh, marketing efforts from the UK um, through our social media, through live streams uh, from our salons, uh, producing tutorials and producing that buzz um, as celebrity clients so that the, the brand has a big international standing. Um, these are just some of the uh, brands and events we've worked with, we, with Disney, with Panasonic, huge amount of drink brands. And it's something that, um, you know, I, I would urge to collaborate and work with like-minded brands in your local market um, to really spread the word. And the beauty of blow dries is that it can be a quick experience um, that can be uh, done as a, as a pop-up, supporting press events, fashion shows. So for somebody out there who is really, you know, yeah, not just about the running a one-off business, but also um, really into fashion and beauty and the way of getting involved on that level, the brand gives this amazing opportunity to collaborate and work with, uh, with other brands. Um, and these are just some of the many that we have worked with from Chanel to creating uh, Barbie stands and uh, creating um, hair. We've done Victoria's Secrets uh, fashion show. So this is just to give you an idea of how this element of events and uh, brand awareness and growth can be sort of done and taken in the, in the local market. Um, We've got um, a good idea of how the launch should be done, what type of events, parties, press, bloggers, uh, opportunities to really create an amazing brand for the, for the Duck and Dry launch internationally. And then uh, the next step, I believe uh, uh, Venus and her team will walk you through some of the financial modeling that has been done. Uh, thank you so much, Julia. Uh, yes, we have built uh, a, a projected uh, unit uh, economics business model. Uh, so Divya would uh, share that. But thank you so much for Julia for sharing. This is very well presented. Thank you. Yes, I've, I've kind of rushed through it because there is a lot that we have done and built over the years. Um, of course, I am very passionate about both the brand, but also the industry. And you know, I genuinely believe that uh, beauty um, is changing and the way consumers are perceiving uh, beauty is changing and it is sort of no longer just your traditional salon model. And, um, you know, I would be extremely uh, sort of excited to take this brand story um, to, to the market. Beauty now it, uh, sort of signifies empowerment and not, uh, you know, uh, that uh, if you if you uh, sort of uh, work towards or or invest yourself uh, from a beauty standpoint, that that you are actually weak. But beauty actually, and what I see in your brand is that it's it's empowerment. The way you are, uh, the way uh, you you are sort of put together the model, plus of course your your customer and the way you're marketing the brand. It's, it's very, very empowering that you're connect, that I think it's all, it's also kind of really building that community of people who uh, sort of would connect with the brand. I can see that. Totally. totally. Divya, are you ready? Yes, I'm sharing my screen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yulia, for our presentation. So here I'm going to present the business plan of uh, the India expansion. So this brand is at par with premium salon chains in India like Pony and Guy. Education uh, mentioned. Uh, are from north, west, south. Different locations in north. Uh, are, we are not able to hear you. There is some problem in my Zoom, I think. We can hear you now. Now you can hear me? Yes, go ahead. Okay. We are... 
We've lost your screen now. No. Yes. Okay, so the brand Duck and Dry is at par with premium salon chains in India like Pony and Guy. And we are focused on top 20 cities in top locations in these markets like Delhi, NCR, Mumbai, Bangalore, Kolkata. These are our top, top uh, cities in different uh, locations. Potential to do 50 locations and direct unit franchise is under Fofu model. So option to do multi-franchise partners at the city levels like different cities. The unit investment will start from 75 lakhs with area of 800 to 1000 square feet, which includes eight workstations and includes uh, including franchise fees. Uh, this will be 30 lakhs initially, uh, which, which will be uh, in uh, franchise fees. So total investment will be 75 lakhs, including uh, franchise fees. This is a revenue model, average per cover with for different services, hair blow dryer, hair styling, nail or bar setup. So uh, this monthly customer we are expecting is of 600 and total uh, revenue in year one, year two, we have defined in pounds is 139, 100. In lakhs, it could be near about 12 lakhs in year one. And correspondingly, we are increasing till year five, which is 16.22. Average per cover, Visit would be 19.3 in first year. Uh, let's let's talk in Indian figures, Divya. So in Indian in figures, pound is almost 100. So yes, if it is uh, 139 pounds, it's almost like 1.5, 1.4 crores. Yes, 1.4 crores. So uh, this is an ROI model, uh, the PNL, which would generate three to four lakhs uh, yearly in uh, sorry uh, monthly net earnings would be per month. So th these this is an OPEX, we would be, uh, we had given a numbers like what would be the rent, electric, cost, bill, royalties. Royalties would be 6.0%. 6 and net earnings, we have mentioned in uh, year one is 34,000, in year two, 41,000. ROIs are increasing from year one to year five from 45.9 to 304.9. And paybacks month would be 24 months. So this is like we are expecting payback pay back in two years time. So this is a revenue model, which we are expecting to grow in five years for 800 square foot area. Yeah. Okay. That's it, Divya? Yes. So this is a model, yeah. Okay. So I think if I can uh, sort of add on that, you can take off your screen now. Uh, is this... So for duck and dry, uh, my discussions with Yulia have been around that uh, we are open for single units as well. Since this would be a premium, uh, very destination uh, brand. So, uh, and, and, and Julia has been very sort of open that she understands that if we open a great location, let's say in Bombay, Delhi, Gurgaon, Bangalore, Hyderabad, it really sort of would anchor the brand and give us a uh, 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 a further sort of leverage on uh, building more uh, locations, maybe in multi-unit or uh, uh, or getting a regional partner. So, so, so this is again a very unique opportunity. When I say that you that you can actually become a duck and dry uh, a franchisee as a unit owner, also the only uh, I would say benchmark we would have is you have to have the uh, location. Location is super important in this uh, uh, business. We are only looking at the premium locations because in India, uh, uh, unlike let's say, although uh, in even in London, Duck and Dry is even or is is at, is at very high traffic premium locations. Uh, but in India, I think my discussion with Julia mentioned that we would be opening this in a mall. So, but a very premium, high traffic uh, malls, which are few. Uh, between our main cities so that's so, so in the most important thing I think investment as you have seen is is not that high I mean even if you put up a normal salon the thing is less than a crore so we are able to put this up uh, let's say even if I include let's say working capital this is within under crore uh, but the location is the most important thing another thing which you which is imp uh, important is the products the product business uh, and Yulia really has uh, kind of worked hard in putting together the signature line, uh, and and uh, there are there there's more to come. So, 
you will be importing duck and dry products uh, to put up in your center. And there's an opportunity to upgrading that in the future that you can become an exclusive distributor for duck and dry products, which can be uh, in and by itself a separate business line. So that's the opportunity. We are looking for young, smart uh, entrepreneurs who understand uh, 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 that this is a brand lifestyle business, branded lifestyle business, uh, uh, and who, who understand that, that this is, it's not just about that blow dry, but it's about uh, uh, being able to connect with that customer who doesn't mind spending. Like in the UK, their average pricing is about uh, 30 pounds, right, Julia? 30 pounds. Yeah. That's, that's 3,000 rupees. Uh, I think in India, we are considering that for as about 2000 rupees, which actually is not that much. I mean, if I go and get a blow dry, uh, it's nothing, nothing is less than uh, like almost 750 to 800 rupees. And I'm talking about a normal neighborhood salon here. If you go to a premium, uh, slightly premium rest, uh, sort of salon in a mall, it, nothing is less than 1250 to uh, uh, 1400 rupees. So, so we are not kind of far off, but the offering, the way it is presented is that's what matters. So, so that's, that's uh, about it. Uh, anything to add, Sonia? Uh, if you, I mean, I'm, I'm very curious to know what you think about it since you really have a grass point uh, uh, working with so many investors, especially I think even women entrepreneurs. How do you feel about Duck and Dry and its opportunity for India? Thank you, Venus, and thank you, Julia. This was very well uh, presented. And uh, I, I would also go on to say, if you look at the overall uh, beauty salon industry in India, this is uh, increasing rapidly with a lot of new uh, consumers which are entering uh, every year. About 15-20% uh, of new consumers are actually entering because of the population, the age of the population. Uh, but a very, very competitive uh, market where salons today are actually uh, upgrading themselves and they're focusing on a lot of data analytics knowing their consumers very, very deeply. And I would also kind of echo what Yula, you know, Yulia mentioned about uh, how the industry and consumers are evolving. Uh, it is becoming competitive and it is not just me to her services, you know, that people look at. People are looking at, uh, you know, paying for premiumization. They're spending on exclusive superior quality goods uh, and it is becoming even more uh, popular while the Indian the consumer uh, is uh, evolving and they're no longer afraid to even put that extra buck to purchase or take these uh, premium services. And second, which I liked about the model is also an experience um, and, uh, and it would not uh, be compared to any other, I would say, brand which might be existing in the neighborhood because consumers today focus on a lot of uh, experience uh, than just being being a transactional and taking the services and coming out. And this is what the model offers uh, very, very uh, clearly. And uh, third, uh, uh, if you look at, you know, how the uh, uh, companies or brands are actually kind of uh, also differentiating on their services uh, is by providing a lot of specialized services, which uh, would be uh, the only differentiator and uh, which uh, would have a lot of destination services being offered. In your case, I saw, which is nail and brow services, which are very, very high value services. And, uh, and these high value services also result in high per square feet uh, efficiency for a salon mm -hmm. of uh, 800 to 1000 square feet, which many other services uh, don't actually, you know, fetch that kind of money. Even the regular uh, or non-branded, uh, I would say, uh, I've not even called them brands, but these are non-branded players, unorganized one who take anything between, uh, you know, 1,000 to 2,000 rupees only for uh, these services. And a uh, typical uh, consumer for these services is also a repeat consumer who keeps, you know, coming in on a monthly basis. So, and uh, then uh, I would also say the look and feel and the way that you've designed is very contemporary, like you mentioned, uh, but also brings in a lot of modern day relevance with the, you know, millennials using of these services and coming in. Having said that, and if I look at the overall industry also, uh, I think India is not new to, you know, uh, seeing uh, international brands and rather, uh, you know, we have witnessed a lot of international companies operating very, very successfully in India. And some of the names we all reckon is, you know, brands from London. London, Europe, which are uh, have actually cemented uh, themselves and growing very strong in the country. So I don't see you know any reason why we should not be successful. And this is a service or a product, I would say, or a brand which is currently uh, the services being offered by them. Uh, in terms of the entire experience, I would say not just the 
you know, uh, the services, but the entire experience is something which is a big gap in the uh, market. And if you friends look at the locations where we want to be, uh, because if you're looking at maybe Delhi or even Gurgaon, there would be very uh, clearly defined spots where we want to be, you know, while the city numbers might look very large, but they're very clearly defined spots that we want to be. And so uh, this might be limited uh, for a short uh, span of time where we, if we are present, say, in Gurgaon, there might be only two spots or three spots uh, which we might want to be in, say, in the first first uh, one and a half one years. So if you're keen to explore, uh, you know, further, I would request all of you to reach out to us. We also have the Fran Global team uh, on this uh, webinar who would help you with the, the information. And you can also see uh, the details of the team and including uh, Venus, who's actually heading the entire uh, uh, entry, you know, for the brand in India. She can help you with a lot of insights that you might need uh, for your location uh, and also the demographics, which our team at Fran Global would also help you out with. But I think like Venus mentioned, and I would kind of echo that, we need entrepreneurs who are passionate uh, about, you know, running these uh, businesses. And you could have a first uh, more advantage of, you know, becoming a proud partner uh, of uh, the brand. And uh, so this is where, you know, I feel uh, the opportunity is. And friends, if you have any questions that you want to ask, uh, you can reach out to us. Uh, our email ID number is mentioned in the chat box. So, Yule, as a closing remark, you know, as we come close to a session, is there something that you want to uh, kind of, you know, share as a message to all the audience, especially the Indian audience, uh, you know, for anything that you want to talk about industry uh, or how you feel about the uh, opportunity in India and the audience at large? Sure. I think it's important to kind of uh, say that although it is a salon business, as a, as a business owner, um, and my experience of running it, it, it really has been a lot more than that. It has opened us so many doors in terms of um, working with other brands, meeting really interesting people, our consumers, um, a really great sort of a bunch of women that opens a lot of doors and opportunities. And uh, we really are um, looking for a partner who is uh, excited about the beauty space, but also um, uh, kind of understands the premium market what, that we're trying to, to achieve and has that sort of sense of, I guess, um, uh, style and um, uh, understands the business operations or at least is able to put in um, a, a good team behind to run it in the way that we would like to, to represent the brand. Uh, but I truly believe that uh, the blow dry bar, you know, in the US it came 15 years ago and in London it actually only came about five, six years ago. And this um, sort of trend is definitely going global. And we have a lot of clients uh, from India who either live in London or they travel to London. And that is one of the reasons why it is the market that we wanted to go after, because we see that um, women from India uh, love the service. They love the brand. We have a huge amount of repeat clients or the ones that either live here or travel here and they always make sure that they, they come to Duck and Dry and they always tell us that they can't get this type of service uh, in India, they can't get that blow dry, they love the products, they love the vibe. And I think for us, you know, it wasn't a random decision to reach to this market. We genuinely feel and believe that there is um, an opportunity, that there is a demand. And if women are traveling to London to get um, our blow dry, there must be a demand locally to do that. Um, and we we genuinely have a big experience with, uh, with this demographic. And so I feel very confident that it would be well responded to. Absolutely, absolutely, Yulia. Very well said. And, and I, I think I would want to add that it's the Indian women hair. We just have yes. lots yes. of uh, uh, hair. And uh, uh, I think that really uh, sort of makes up a, a business case. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I would echo what Sonia and Yulia mentioned. Uh, and I think Sonia mentioned a very uh, interesting uh, word, which is me too. I think uh, since a lot of business is so highly franchised, uh, I think you know, with Duck and Dry, we have that opportunity uh, for not another uh, 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 salon brand. This is a brand which is a mix of beauty, uh, service, and lifestyle, even so, up, up to a certain point, glamour and luxury as well. I think uh, Yulia does so many 
uh, I think they call uh, the, 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 the women sort of pre-wedding uh, uh, parties uh, where like, you know, you have uh, 25 women who are coming in, having fun. And I can see that happening in India. So, uh, so I think it's, it's if, if you, and I think this would be very suitable for young women entrepreneurs, especially if you want to sort of, uh, you know, do this for yourself, for your friends and people you want to connect with. And this can be a great business. So, uh, so, so I think you have our information, uh, people who are here or watching us on Facebook. And I know this will be on YouTube later. Uh, if you uh, feel that this is something you would want to know uh, more about, reach out to us uh, at Fran Global. And we would love to chat with you and see if something this would uh, work out. So thank you so much, uh, Sonia, Yulia, you. Archana, and Divya for uh, you know making this session happen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, very thank much. you so much, Venus. Thank you so much, Yulia, for being with us and that very early morning uh, for you uh, uh, today, you know, back in London. Thank you for making it. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Ashna, can I request you to please take it over from here? Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you so much, Sonia, ma'am. Thanks, Venus Divya, for joining in today's webinar. Thank you so much, dear friends, for registration, joining us. We have shared our details with you. Do connect with us at the number as well as email ID to get more information about uh, this particular brand. Also connect with us at our business hotline number, which is 9717683838. Connect with us at different social handles. Also, in case you wish to have more expert advice, industry insights from our management team, it's very easy. Just go, uh, join Gaurav Sir and Sonemam at their LinkedIn platform to get more information. And tomorrow, under our national webinar, 12 p.m., we are inviting you to join us for great retail opportunity. We are bringing the team of Nature's Hut to talk about what kind of a value proposition they are creating in market and offering the proposal for you. They are already having 18 exclusive outlet and they are having manufacturing units also. So don't miss this chance. Do registration with us, which is free of cost and very easy to do it. Just go to Facebook page where we have shared the registration link or connect with us at our business hotline number. Thank you once again for joining in today. Be safe, be happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.